So you know, this is the start of our 43rd year for the Central New York Farm Progress Show. It's kind of interesting because uh, we started 42 years ago and uh, we had 13 vendors in the show. It was designed for a machinery show, local machinery show. And uh, we had 13 vendors signed up. This year will be well over 100, it looks like. And the show has kind of turned into be like an old Holmes Day. Uh, all the neighbors there, and if, when you come and you can visit, we have everything from uh, small garden tractors to uh, 400 horsepower tractors that are using on the farm, machinery of all different types. But we have all different types of vendors there also with banks and insurance companies and finance people. Oh, they have a great pie stand. You gotta stop at the pies and do it early because they sell out every year uh, by the Federated Church in West Winfield. We have plenty of food, hot dogs, hamburgers, french fries and all that with uh, barbecue chicken going on both days. This year is something new. We're gonna have a, a full uh, garden tractor pull starting on Thursday at nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, if you've never seen a garden tractor pull, it'd be kind of interesting to come because we're not talking about five and six horsepower tractors. Some of them will be in there with over a hundred horsepower on to them. It's kind of interesting to watch. And the other thing is something new this year is we're working together um, with the FFA in the central New York area and um, invitations has gone out and we're going to have on Thursday, we're going to have a, an FFA Ag Career Day and what we're happening is the FFA members will come around and we encourage them to go visit all the exhibitors and talk about the different careers that might be attached to uh, the different dealerships and the different exhibitors. Uh, myself, I'm in the uh, investment finance business and it's just mathematics, actuaries and all. You take a tractor dealership, it's a local tractor dealership, but stop to think about it. Now you're talking about engineering, you're talking about all the things that, how to put a cab together, say nothing of the radios and the engines and the transmissions. So it should be very interesting to see that uh, when you talk about ag related, uh, you're talking about, about any profession that you can think of out there. And number two, the most important part of this show is we've kind of always had it small scale. It's on the county, it's Herkimer County. The rules are you have to be doing business within the grounds of Herkimer County. Um, boundaries and we kept it local dealerships we don't have any big manufacturing companies coming into it so you're really talking to the people that you'll be doing business with in all different fields but the nice thing is about the end of the year somebody says well who gets all the money that's made by the show uh there it's a really a thin budget line that we run on but when any, any money that's left over we give out scholarships to any senior uh going on to ag related colleges Remember what I said, ag related could cover every profession there is out there. And this last year we had enough that we could give out four scholarships uh, with the young people going on to college. And the qualifications is all they have to do is write a simple essay of why they're going to ag related occupation and college and get a couple reference letters from their teachers and from the school and they're in for the, they're in the running. So I like to see as many applications on that as we possibly can. So come on up on uh, September 12th and 13th between 9 and 4, right there on Robinson Road, just south of Mohawk, off of Route 28. It's uh, Gilbert's Farm. You can't miss it once you come on Roberts Road, because once you turn off 28, it's less than a quarter mile.